Hello guys, welcome to Marian TV. This is Marian and today guys, I'm here with Ken and if you do not know who Ken is, Ken is actually the brother-in-law to Amos brother ya bibi ya amos and uh, there are a lot of things that have been going on and if you do not know you can just go and watch the previous video that i've done nimefanya na amos and of course he expressed his desire to meet na waifake to talk and what have you and also when they he spoke with the alluders he said that he wants to talk with his wife or wa jaribu kongele to mbili tatu how everything went na sasa due to that i was forced kutafuta ken so that i can speak to him nimweleze ajue kama he has really seen that and uh, if he thinks it's okay if he thinks he's ready to bring the sister back to amos and uh, what have you to do with tender and uh, so guys kenny is here with me today na ako hapa ken karibu karibu sana hebu kuja hapa hivi ken how are you Fine. thank you uh, hey ukoje sana Marian. i'm so happy that you're here today yes i'm here uh -huh. i'm good good to see you good to see you too <laughs> hebu salami watu hapa hivi introduce kidogo hello wase mkoaje mm. my fans wote wa Marian. TV. I'm so happy ku kuona mimi naitwa Ken Kayange. I know you've seen me in several places and I am so happy to be here to share with you guys on what Marian wants us to share about. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Uh so Ken, yes. uh nimesema thank you again for being here. I know I've called you on a short notice yeah. but uh really we wanted to know a few things mm. and uh I know of course uh, amongst your brother-in-law yeah. amekoa akiulizia mm -hmm. the wife sana and of course it is well known here that uh, you have the wife who is your sister yeah. umekuwa nayo kimkip from everything that uh, went on yeah. Yeah. sasa amos amesema kwamba or rather he alleged that the wife who is your sister mm -hmm. cheated on him na first born sio mtoto wake yeah. you know i don't know what you have to say about that maybe before you dive into further discussion Ah well mm. um you know I don't want to really comment much more about the uh mambo ya mtoto kuwa wake ama kutokuwa wake mm. that is really a, an issue about uh or between them mm -hmm. the two of them mm. they are supposed to dis discuss here to niche ni wanaweza ka chini na wa discuss na wa hit mm -hmm. an argument mm. so that is not something uh that should come out there Mm -hmm. And in fact mimi hata siko concerned na story na watoto mm -hmm. uh mtoto ni wa nani ama si wa nani mm -hmm. the only thing i'm concerned about ni their happiness mm -hmm. i would really want to see them happy mm -hmm. i would want to see my sister enjoying marriage mm -hmm. because marriage is an institution that should be enjoyed enjoyed anyway mm -hmm. so i would really want to see them happy mm -hmm. healthy mentally yeah. and doing good mm -hmm. yeah and not fighting every other single day mm -hmm. yeah. wow you know me i'm so amazed that you're even saying that because you know from the last encounter i know that you and amos had at yeah. director jay's office mm. na jua amos stormed out na kakwacha i couldn't even believe unaweza ku kumwangelelea mm. hivi vizuri so i don't know what you can tell us maybe from that encounter what happened and what was going through your head at that particular time and even now well mm. um you know when 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 i was called into the office mm -hmm. i came in with uh an expectation that Amos wants to talk to me like a brother to his wife mm -hmm. and maybe from that perspective nikakuja nikijua maybe we are just going to have discussions and see let us bring about reconciliation between the two of them yeah and so i did not expect anything less or more mm -hmm. uh but when i came to the office it was so unfortunate mm -hmm. that hata kuingia tu he refused to say hi aka piga mkono wangu hivi akata mm. kunisalimia mm -hmm. and he started bombarding me with heavy words and insults akaanza mm. kunitusi kuniambia look at you unachofanya hapa uvile umevaa suit na unakuja late unachofanya uko na pesa na unakuja late into uh -huh. a meeting angalia vile sijui nini nini mm -hmm. spoke so many things mm -hmm. that really irritated me mm -hmm. but i did not expect that nilikuwa mm -hmm. tunatarajia a brother in law mm. who wants to get back a wife mm -hmm. and is trying to meet the brother mm -hmm. and have a discussion and see on how to get the wife back mm -hmm. yeah wow 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 you speak like a very intelligent man and i really like that because in this case yeah. i think we really need a a, a sober a person really mm -hmm. and uh, so i don't know 
Amos Zinye, I mean, I don't know if has reached out to you because you know we had a, a discussion mm -hmm. earlier. Now he even had to speak to a couple that Nilimwelekeza mm -hmm. and uh anajua that you you are with the wife but akawambia that akambia the couple who are the alubas akambia tafute bibi na sasa of course ni wewe uko na bibi so i don't know wewe unaona aje kwa hiyo kwanza ana nashangaa <laughs> nashangaa mlijuaje ni mimi niko na na bibi ya Amos na niliambia director Jia siambie watu kwa hiyo alienda akisema tena niko naye but anyway that aside um I think mimi sina shida mm. na Amos amenitafuta tafuta for some time mm -hmm. but nimekuwa nimekuwa busy mm -hmm. ni but at the beginning kwanza bila alikuwa ananipigia simu nilikuwa nalenga calls zake kwa sababu sasa unaona mtu amekutreat hivyo vyote mm. you also go and talk to them mm -hmm. so but nikafika point nikasema anyway mm -hmm. uh, uh, because he's trying to reach out mm -hmm. let me try to listen nisikie ni nini anakuja up nayo mm. probably it's something positive mm -hmm. so i received his calls and we were in communication and he, he expressed his desire to meet me mm -hmm. so nikasema well kama unataka kukutana na mimi i hope it's not chaotic mm -hmm. and messy like last time mm -hmm. i'm okay mm -hmm. i can meet you and we can have a discussion mm -hmm. na tuone which way forward mm -hmm. uh, so maybe before utueleze kabisa mm -hmm. maybe kama sasa mshakutana ama mtaenda kukutana maybe tuambie so now could you tell us from the time now you mm. took uh, your sister uh, his wife from the home will you come chukua kwake ama like could you, could you just tell us briefly kulienda aje the entire nini now see my sister mm. i realized she was going through a lot mm -hmm. uh she was she was traumatic mm -hmm. uh kumbuka alikuwa amepata mtoto mm -hmm. na hakuwa na shughuli kwa vizuri yeah. number 2 alikuwa anapigwa na Amos mm -hmm. amengolewa meno mm -hmm. uh, ana ameachwa kwa nyumba mm -hmm. Amos ameenda kwa na msichana mwingine huko nje mm -hmm. achukui simu mm -hmm. so this lady ako kwa nyumba peke yake yeah. so a lot was happening on her mind mm -hmm. so when i came into the picture and i realized my sister did not want to tell me mm -hmm. because alikuwa alikuwa anaogopa you know because i of course siku kwa you know siku kwa into the, 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 the marriage idea from mm -hmm. the beginning so hako anataka kuniambia mm -hmm. Kenya anapitia mm -hmm. in marriage yeah. but hiyo wakati tulikutana na yeye nikamwambia sisi or my sister no matter what mm -hmm. i'm here to just see you through mm -hmm. and make sure you're happy yeah. she felt at home na akafurahia sana mm -hmm. so nikam nikamwambia welcome twende yeah until that moment when Amos proves to us as a family mm -hmm. that he's mature enough mm -hmm. he's coming back to his senses mm -hmm. and he's ready to take up responsibilities as a man mm -hmm. you understand yeah that is when you go back to him mm -hmm. so i took him and we went for a few counseling sessions mm -hmm. and they're still ongoing right now oh. because i want to make sure that she's doing great mm -hmm. uh, health wise mm -hmm stability yake mm -hmm. arudi tu poa yeah. ndio hata mwenyewe afikirie mm -hmm. you know always make decisions kama mentally hauko sawa yeah. so una need really kukua sawa physically mm -hmm. emotionally ndio hata uki make decision unasema hii marriage nimetoka mm -hmm. umetoka ukiwa make sure so, so decisions ama yeah. ukisema i want to continue with it mm -hmm. and fight for it it's a sober decision mm -hmm. you're making out of a, a conscious mind yeah. so nikasema wacha aende uh, counseling sessions mm -hmm. watoto waende medical checkup yeah. and for a reason for some time nikam cut off social media mm -hmm. hata you realized kuna wakati walikuwa wanamtafuta mm. wanamuuliza ako wapi mm -hmm. so nikamwambia for now you're not going to show up on any social media mm -hmm. you're going to uh, work out everything mm -hmm. silently mm -hmm. so for now she's she's off media kabisa mm -hmm. kabisa kabisa okay uh, eh hey, hey, brother goal no, i'm telling you to, 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 i'm going to work out everything mahali anafaa aende mm -hmm kama is not very necessary na yaenda kwa nyaba yake mpaka yeah. afike sawa ah. yeah. so for now mm. media kuonekana huko publicly mm. acha tu akae nyuma oh now. wow cuz she's going through a lot she's going through a lot ah. she's not stable mm. psychologically hata mm. sometimes alikuwa anafika tu mahali ana breakdown anaanza tu kulia mwenyewe mm -hmm. uh, nikimwona hivi na nasikia tu nimemhurumia yeah uh, kiona huyo mtoto pia anaanza ku break down mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Paka alikuwa anafika point ako na suicidal thoughts na nafikiria oh kwenda kuhudi suicide. Mm -hmm. So nikaona huyu sister yangu mahali amefika mm -hmm. si mahali mazuri. Mm -hmm. And then kaamua 
acha tu nimsaidie mm -hmm. uh, na maybe ken kabla kabla nini kabla ukatai marriage you are sister and amos definitely you had not experienced all this so maybe tuambie ni kwa nini ulikuwa kata had you foreseen or maybe do you know him from way before ama like mbona huko unataka that marriage unaona kwa gana instincts Mm. So unaweza unaweza sometimes unaweza ona tu kitu na usikie. Mm. Mimi kitu sitaki. Mm -hmm. yeah. And from the way we met mm. and from the way Amos was expressing himself around us around mm. around family. Mm -hmm. Na nilikuwa napata hizo feedback zote. Mm from bila Amos alikuwa ame handle your relationship before mm -hmm. atawakwe married mm -hmm.